All right, friends. Super 50 question number one. Let us now read through the question. And as I always do, we will start my session with working note number one, basic data. So what we will do in basic data is we will copy down all the information available in the question and we will start solving it. So let us read through the question now. This is a question from RTP May 23. So a very good question and already covered in the earlier RTP session, but very, very crucial for the upcoming exam because convexity is an area where we have very limited questions. In fact, this is the only one question where they have properly applied convexity. So let's write down the basic data. Face value is 10,000. All right, you have a coupon rate of 8.5%. Fine, then you have years to maturity is how much? Five years. Then they have told the YTM is how much? 10%. So face value is given, coupon rate is given, life is also given and YTM is also given. Based on this, they are asking you to find out multiple things. One, current market price. 2. Duration, 3. Volatility of the bond, 4. Convexity and then they are asking expected market price if there is a decrease in the yield by how many basis points? 200 basis points. All right. Uh, so now I have a PDF. We will share a PDF in the WhatsApp group very, very soon. All right. So let me start doing it now. First, let us go and find out the current market price. How do we work out the current market price? Current market price is nothing but the present value of future cash flows. So I would prefer doing that in Excel friends because I can show the calculations to you easily and it can also get over faster. So give me a moment. I'm opening my Excel sheet. All right, now here I'll write down year cash flow discount factor and what is the last column heading over here discounted cash flow. All right, so what is the discount factor they have told over here friends 10% am I right? So I'll just write down over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 years is what they have given and the cash flow would be 8.5% of 10,000. Will that turn out to be 850? Right, it will be 850. So in year 1, 2, 3, 4, you will have 850. And in the last year, you will be having a, a bond refund value of 10,850. All right. Now, what about the discount factor that turns out to be 10 percentage? Correct. So 10 percentage would be what? 1 divided by 1.1. And we can pull this down. This is a discounting factor. Exam point of view, three decimals maximum is enough. You really don't need to keep a four or five decimals. Okay, two is also perfectly fine. <coughs> so now here what I will do, I'll multiply this and I will get the discounted cash flow. So from this, can I find out the present value of the bond? Correct. I get the number as 9432 approximately. Okay, so I'll just make this in yellow because it's a heading. This I'll put it in yellow. Now, once we get this, I can actually find out the weight and I can also find out the weighted average duration. Okay. So once you get the weight, the next column heading would be duration into weight. I'll get the answer as 4.25. Okay. So that is my duration. Okay. So once we get the duration of 4.25 and here you get 9,431 based on this, what I will do now is once we get 4.25, we can go and work out the volatility. 
the formula for volatility is average duration divided by 1 plus yield. So we get the answer as 3.86. What is the logic of this 3.86 friends? It means for every 1% change in the yield, the price is going to change by how much percentage? By 3.87 percentage. Is everybody clear with this part? So we have got the first part of the whole thing. So I'll just copy this and paste it in my notebook so that when I share it with you, I can share the entire notebook. Perfect. Okay. So here I'll just write down a heading working note number two that would be duration, price and we have also found out what volatility. I believe everybody is clear with this part. Pratik, I believe I have given the question number here, super 50, question number 1. Okay, right. So, question number 1 is what we are doing over here and we have got these three factors as of now. Can I go to the next page now? Alright. So, once I am done with the duration part, I will now go and read the next part of the question. Now, they are asking for convexity. So, I will come back over here, friends, and I will explain to you what convexity exactly means. Here, we have got the answer for 9431. Next, what I will do is, I will just change this percentage. I will make it 12% and here I will give another discount factor of, let us say, wait, I'll just remove this okay. and I'll copy down these two slides over here. Okay. So here I'll call it as 8%. Okay. So I've taken a 2% gap. So here I'll change the DCF formula. The formula would turn out to be this divided by 1 plus twelve percentage. Am I right? Here also it would be this divided by 1 plus 12 percentage. Correct? Okay. So now I will do one thing. I'll just copy paste this formula down. So I got the present value as 8738. Same way, <coughs> here it is how much? It is 8 percentage, correct? So here the formula would be 8%. Okay. So once you make this change available over here, automatically you will get the number over here as 6351. No, 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 wait. The price should have gone up. Have I made some mistake? Okay, there's a formula mistake is there. It should come from here. Cash flow into the discount factor, correct? All right. So I'm getting the answer as approximately how much? 10,200. So what I have done over here is I have got the price at 12%. I have also got the price at how much percentage? 8%. So I'll take this total. I'll copy it and I will paste it over here. Okay, I'll write down the next working note heading first. Convexity. Okay. And then I have pasted this table over here. All right. So uh, one minute. Yes. Okay. This looks to be fine. So we have got these two prices over here. Once we get this price, I will just tell you the formula for convexity first, and then I will explain the remaining part. This price is called as V plus. This price is called as V minus. And here the price that you get over here is what we call it as V0. So the formula what will come in front of us would be V plus plus V minus minus 2V0 whole divided by what? 2V0. So how much is V plus that you get? 10,199 plus 8738 minus 2 into 9431. Correct? Whole divided by 2 into 9431. So once we do this, shall we check what answer we get over here? <clears throat> you get the number as 75 divided by 
I will get the answer as 0.40 percentage approximately. All right, I'll just give you a minute's time. Absorb what I have done over here. Then I will tell you the logic of this formula. <coughs> All right. Now, let us understand the logic of what we have exactly done over here. I'll give a heading called as logic of convexity okay friends how much is the volatility that we actually got over here did we get the answer as 3.87 percent okay what this means is that for every one percent change in yield price should change by how much percentage 3.87 percentage. This is the answer that everybody knows. Am I right? Now let us check that. I will give a heading called as yield. As of now, the yield is 10 percentage. Okay. Then I'll write down over here price as per volatility. Okay. So now everyone tell me original price is how much? 9431. Now tell me if the yield is going up by 2 percentage, what will happen to the price? Everyone tell me the price is going to fall down by how much percentage? By 3.87 multiplied by 2. Am I right? So here the formula would be 9431 minus 9431 into 3.87% into 2. Why? Because 2% deviation is coming. Can you please check this and tell me what answer you get over here? <coughs> I think you'll get the number as 8701. Same way, if the yield is falling down by 2%, my price is supposed to go up by how much? The same number. So 9431 plus 9431 into 3.87% into 2. Do you get the answer as 10,160? This is supposed to be the price as per what? As per volatility. But what is the price that we got as per the DCF method? We have done it using DCF method now, correct? First area was 9431. All right. What about the second one? Did we get the answer as 10,000 or so wait, we'll take it as 8738 over here? See, there is a difference, correct? What about the last one, 10,199? Here you got 10,160. So isn't there a deviation from the price as per volatility to price as per DCF method? So the logic of this goes like this. If the volatility is 3.87%, this is not fully accurate. Okay. Now, this is what we call it as volatility. How much is the convexity that we got? Did we get the answer as 0.4%? What this means is that in reality, your volatility will be either plus 0.4 or minus 0.4%. That is 3.87 plus 0.4 is how much? 4.27% and the other one is 3.47 percentage or the logic is even though Volatility is 3.87%. In reality, <coughs> the price deviation can range from 3.47% to 4.27%. This is the logic of convexity. And with this, we are done with this particular question.